In a live video on Instagram, I took the baby out of the crib and at the same time showed my followers my perfect tummy. I was asked how I got my perfect body back so quickly after giving birth. Well, I'll tell you about my super diet in the next live video. I turned off the camera and handed the baby to my nanny, Lena, in disgust. <sighs> Lena, put him away. He stinks. Who gave birth to him at all? Couldn't they have given birth to a prettier baby? I hate children, but this is a hype topic. So a year ago, I decided to find a surrogate mother. <sighs> she did all the dirty work while I posted pictures with a fake belly in stories. Speaking of fake bellies, I asked Lena to throw them out immediately to make room in the closet for new clothes. And don't forget to clean up. The house is full of dust. But she replied that she would not do this. She had other duties. She was a nanny, not a cleaner. No way. Servants are servants. I threatened Lena that I would fire her if she didn't complete the assignment. With that, Lena obediently left the room. There were a couple of hours left before the next live video. So I quickly put on a short top that exposed my toned tummy. Everything was going great until one of the followers left a comment. Kiss. Your stomach has terrible fat rolls. What fat rolls? But then I was flooded with comments that I would better look in the mirror first. And then stream. It hit me like an electric shock. I quickly got my bearings and said that I had technical problems. I interrupted the live video and in fear, rushed to the mirror. I thought it was the light, but no. My stomach really did look bigger, and there were some nasty fat rolls. What the hell was going on? Okay, calm down. I googled what the reason of fast weight gain could be. The portal about an inconspicuous pregnancy was the first to open in the search results, and I clicked on it. I hadn't had a boyfriend in a long time. I spent all my time on Instagram, but reading the form, I came across some wild information that one girl got knocked up in a pool. Maybe it's the same for me. I go to the pool. I put on the first hoodie I saw and rush to the doctor's office. The doctor did an ultrasound and said that there was no pregnancy, but there was a slight obesity in the waist area. Slight obesity? I said that I had a proper diet, and I had a couple of servants preparing everything for me. This couldn't be happening. The doctor replied that many patients ate their problems in a half-asleep state and then did not remember anything about it. I walked out of the clinic. Everything was a blur. Was I a lunatic? I couldn't think straight. I was necessary to understand everything as soon as possible, so I decided to experiment. And for this, I rushed to the store. There, with trembling hands, I picked up a jar of Nutella from the shelf. I wanted to leave it in the refrigerator overnight and see if the jar was open in the morning. What if I really wanted the refrigerator at night half asleep and ate? A shiver ran down my spine, as if someone was watching me. Haters would destroy me if they saw what I was buying here. But some weird chick at the checkout was staring at Nutella and then at me. After a couple of seconds, she shouted loudly, Nancy Kiss also likes sweets. God, that was the last thing I needed. I threw the money to the cashier and covering my face with my hands, literally ran to the parking lot. But this crazy chick rushed after me with a phone in her hands. No, don't you dare shoot me. I got caught in someone's car and almost fell and the alarm went off all over the parking lot. After running another 100 meters, I found my car. Chick was not far behind. I sat behind the wheel and peeled out, almost grazing her. When I came home, I looked so bad that Nanny Lena immediately asked anxiously what had happened. Taking a deep breath, I told her about the crazy woman in the store. Lena hugged me and said that was the downside of fame. Lena used to dream of meeting me on the street too. Now she worked in my house. I took a deep breath and calmed down a little. Thank God I hid my face from the follower. But the phone started bursting with notifications. They poured one after another. Hundreds of users marked me on some photo. With growing anxiety, I opened the post and saw myself from behind. The sweatshirt I accidentally grabbed turned out to be a branded sweatshirt with my Instagram nickname at Nancy Kiss. But that wasn't the worst part. The worst part was that I looked fat in that photo. Very fat. They wrote that I was just a fatso. And my diet was a complete fraud. 
followers began to unfollow one by one. My Instagram was already emptying. My life was collapsing before my eyes, and my stomach was getting bigger. I didn't know what was going on, and it was driving me crazy. Lying in bed, I didn't scroll through my Instagram feed for the first time in my life, but instead hoped to get to sleep and forget about this nightmare. All night I dreamed that I swelled up like a huge balloon and finally burst. The pop woke me up. There was a sticky cold sweat in my forehead. Getting out of bed, I immediately looked at my stomach. It already really looked like a pregnant woman's. I rushed to the refrigerator, but didn't tell it wasn't touched. And I saw a missed call from John, my agent. Trying not to panic, I called back. John was casual. But he was trying to find out why my sweatshirt with my nickname was so tight around my sides. I made excuses that it was just an angle. The sweatshirt shrank after washing. John reminded me of the live video I'd promised my followers. In three days, I had to talk about my diet in a stream with advertising partners. Three days before the live video, it was urgent to do something with the stomach. I worked myself out and drank only the hot water Lena left at my door. But no matter how hard I tried, there were fewer followers. And I got fatter and fatter. Soon I couldn't even fit into a tracksuit. When I was a few hours away from the live video, I realized that my methods were not working. Then I rushed to the shapewear store. Instagram had not paid for a week. There was still some money on the card. I bought a huge corset with it. I couldn't believe I was buying it for myself. When I got home, I laced myself so hard I could barely breathe, but I still struggled into my widest hoodie. I was completely broken, but I gathered my strength, chose a good angle, and started the live video. As soon as I was live streaming, the haters immediately bombarded me with comments that I not only had a stomach, but also my brain was swollen with fat. They were furious that I decided to show up on Instagram in such a form, wrote that they were disappointed in me. I could not resist, interrupted stream and began to sob in the next room. A child immediately began to cry. Lena came in and told me that there was always a chance to make things right. Maybe I just needed to change my attitude. I emotion screamed that she was not hired to be a smartass, so she could get out of my house. When she left, I sat down at my laptop to play bubble shooter to calm down. And wow, I saw a dozen letters from advertisers. Finally, they showed up. But there, there were reports that all contracts with me were finally terminated. I was out of money. With trembling hands, I dialed my agent. What am I going to do now, John? He was silent. And then with a sigh, he said that he had to stop working with me. Will you leave me too? At this, he sarcastically congratulated with the second baby and hung up. I needed the distraction, so I decided to take a walk. I don't know how long I wandered around the city, but when I got home, I saw that the door to the apartment was wide open. <gasps> Where was Lena? Damn, how could I forget? I sent her away myself. The apartment was a complete ruin. Clothes, some garbage, and dirty diapers were scattered everywhere. The smell was just awful, and from the room came the heartrending cry of a child. What am I supposed to do about it? I ran to the baby as fast as I could. Cleo, what's wrong with you? I tried to feed him, and suddenly I realized he was so small and helpless. I began to sob softly in despair and the realization of a new feeling. My god. This was my baby, even though he was carried by another woman. How could I be so indifferent? Suddenly, Leo held out his hands to me. My heart skipped a beat. I realized that now we were the only ones who had each other. They held him tightly to my heart and whispered it to him softly. Leo seemed to understand me and smiled sadly in response. After a few weeks, I couldn't imagine my life without Leo. I also posted photos with him, but I forgot about building a following. Surprisingly, my audience began to grow by itself. By the way, I also lost weight pretty quickly. I still don't understand what happened to my stomach. I was feeding Leah once, and I saw a comment under my Instagram photo. Lena was on the avatar. She wrote that she was glad that I gave up the fake life. Already in the PM? Lena admitted that every day she mixed high-calorie supplements in my food. 
It made me fat so fast. I was angry and wanted to write her something spiteful in response. After all, it was Lena who made me understand that even if all the people in the world turned their backs on me, I would still be the kindest and most beautiful person in the world. And this is my son, Leo.